there. It's Shirley Ralph, and welcome to another week of my vlog. That's a video blog. Call me Madam. You can hashtag it, too. You know I love my Twitter. You know I love my Instagram. You know I love my Facebook. You lo know I love my ShirleyRalph.com. Yes, you know I love all social media. So you can hit me up. Hashtag call me madam. It is a matinee day, a Wednesday matinee, and we've just started the show. I've done two scenes already. You see the makeup. Thank you is on what for leak. RuPaul, call me. You know, I'm ready to do 2017 RuPaul's Drag Show. Yes, yet again, we can do the Wicked Musical, the Wicked Drag Musical, or whatever you want. Just call me, RuPaul. I'm ready, baby. I've got to prep for my next entrance and know that I love you. Yeah, babies. Hashtag call me madam with Shirley Ralph here. I love you, Broadway.com. Wait. I love this reggae beat. All kinds of music are in this show. Classic, reggae, even a little r and B. I'm telling you, you're going to love this show. Wicked. I got to go, though. Miss Kara? Yes? Introduce yourself to all the people. Hello, all the people. I'm Kara Lindsay. And you play? Glinder. Glinda. Yes, you do. And you are so wonderful. I've got to tell you, you are what they call a lyric soprano, correct? <gasps> oh, and when I this young tried. woman sings, let me tell you, it's absolutely amazing. I love to stand back here and listen to your voice. Absolutely you guys, amazing. Guys, that's the highest compliment anybody could ever get from Shirley Ralph. Oh, could, no, thank well, you. I could think of more compliments. Couldn't we keep people? Uh, but what do you love about doing this show? Because I have so many things. What do so you love? I like the camaraderie. Yes. And all getting to tell a story together yes. as a team. Because it really takes every single person. And I love getting to know everybody and having our moments on stage and I, I just I love the teamwork that wow. it takes to tell a story and yes. especially with you know the recent events it, our story is so yeah, yeah. important right now and I think a lot of people recognize that right. in, in our cast and that see the show yes. and it's, it's, it's so important for us to be telling the story about love right now so now you've done a lot of things in between doing the wizard of doing um, Wicked. Wicked. I know that you've got a movie coming up. Tell the people about oh, your movie. Oh well, um, it's the Newsies live movie, um, and we filmed that in LA um, in September. Wow. So it was it was so fun. It was so cool. I hadn't done it in three years or so. Wow. So going back, it's so funny because I went back and revisited. Newsies, and then I came back and revisited Wicked again. That's right. So it's nice to be able to have a second chance, oh. you know. We know that you have a look-alike star or a doppelganger. Oh. So <laughs> I know who it is. I think she looks like. Who do a lot of people tell you that you look like? Guess. I think, okay, I won't tell. You tell me. Oops, I did it again. Doesn't she look like Britney Spears? I'm telling you, if Britney Spears <laughs> were a she princess. Went cuckoo. Well, She's well, all, she, but she's cuckoo fabulous. She's cuckoo fabulous. Um, That's uh, right. Let me Normal tell you something. Boring. Yes, and Brittany, honey, don't let anybody tell you that when you shaved off your head, you didn't set a trend, darling. That's it was true. fabulous. Yes. At least she could pull that off. At least she could pull it off. Well, you could too, because you got a good head too. <laughs> you got great <laughs> costumes. <gasps> Look at all of that. What's your favorite costume? Um, I really love that popular dress because it's just like a little pom pom. The little pink dress. Yes, it actually makes you feel more energetic. What? your favorite line in the show because I know what mine is of yours yeah, my play. favorite line What's is favorite line? it is good to see me isn't it <laughs> you say it so much better <laughs> I'm gonna steal that line reading I, I love like it, it. Than... yes it You're is perfect. good to see me isn't it <laughs> I'm so glad you took this time. Thank While we're still having... doing the show, we had a tiny we gotta little break. We gotta go to our queue. We gotta go to we our queue. The same queue. <laughs> exactly. So you gotta go. Okay, it, you, you. She's on the couch with Call Me Madam, Madam Marble call here at Wicked. <laughs> yes. She That's is. my Look vlog. At this. Fabulous. You guys. You're so fly, lucky. monkeys, fly. I think oh, we yeah, gotta we go. Bye bye. <laughs> this right here is the map to Oz. Right here, this is the map to Oz. Now people are back. 
Yes, I love the Derby. <laughs> Michael. Michael is our heartthrob. All the girls uh, cheer so much for Michael. I'm a lover, what can I say? I know, and they love you, Michael. It's Michael, honor. introduce yourself. They're gonna hear more from you when you're on the couch, uh, okay. but say hello. I'm Michael Campano, and I play Fiero. I'm very single, Shirley Ralph. Ooh. Very single. There you go. You heard that you are. Hello, and who are you? <laughs> I'm Steven Oremus. I'm the music supervisor of the show. Hi there, Steven. You do know that we have some of the best music on Broadway. I know. We have some of the best arrangements in the pit on Broadway. I know. And we have some of the best singers on the stage on this Broadway. This is true. This is all very true, all isn't very it? All very true. I'm very proud of it. Yes, I too am very proud to be a part of it. And wonderful to meet you since we're just meeting. <laughs> Hi. So, you see people? These are all the people that you get to meet. That was our music supervisor, our company manager. Now everybody's coming together. So much for... So much for our mannequin rehearsal. I just don't know what happened. I'm trying. Maybe I should put Miss Sampliner at the end with checks and see what they look like when they're all running for a check. <laughs> so how are you all doing out there today? This is me and my vlog camera, baby. This is Mar Madam Morble getting ready. You know, we just gotta have a little what? A little groove step going on. Hey! Oh, you can't see me. How's that? That's better though, isn't it? Yes, darling. We are all set and ready here. They have called five minutes. Look at this though. Little Ariel Jacob sent me a great little message. Thank you, Ariel. Ooh. There's the message. Please take a moment now to turn off your cell phones, unwrap any candies, and to note the nearest emergency exit. So we're getting ready for what? Another show. Oh. And the bubble descends. Are you ready for Oz? I know I am. Each and every night. See you later during the show. Well, who's that? Peter Scolari. Mr. Emmy Man. Oh, we love that. Come sit on the couch. Well, in here. And you match my couch so well. You match my couch. Oh, thank you. So I promised you all that we would have some interviews on the couch. And here is Peter Scolari, who plays the wizard here in Wicked. How are you doing? I'm so happy to be here with you on your red couch. Oh, you know, thank you. Being, being interviewed for your blog. Yes, my vlog. You know, video <laughs> blog. Oh, <okay>. Yes. <laughs> What's your most favorite part about Fetch doing here. Wicked? My favorite part about doing Wicked is, uh, is just after half hour and saying hi to everybody. Yes. Now, I'm not always, you know, the, the, the big camper who mixes with everybody. I get shy. I get weird in different shows over the years. I get along well with everybody. But being here, this is the, one of the best villages, and it's changed. You've yes. been here and brought so much beauty and class and work ethic. I love and him. Talent. Oh, my goodness. Thank gracious. You. But it's but it, it it is seeing you before the show, seeing Jen Denoya, seeing Carl Lindsay, my beloved uh, Michael Janae. Girls finished the the sixth and last season, and I was out for a few of the episodes. Yeah. And tried to rush back to the Wicked. I am, I get really um, stoked uh, by having to cross from one discipline to another. You know, filming an, an intimate scene uh, in the afternoon uh, or a, a morning shoot um, is it's very quiet. A yeah. whole crew of there's 30, 40, 50 people some, sometimes, and everybody's very quiet. Yeah. And, and a uh, you know clearing your throat or touching your nose or, or, or nervously 
as I am sort of folding your arms and mm -hmm. looking for where to be comfortable. These are really powerful things on camera. They're because the audience is eavesdropping. That's right. And spying. That's right. And and in on those best days when we film in front of a camera, we, we let the camera uh, observe. We, That's right. We don't play for the camera. We it's. It's interesting you're saying that because I always say you can lie to a big audience, <laughs> but you cannot lie to the camera. Not, not successfully. Just cannot no, successfully. I've tried. And, uh, you're absolutely right. Well, thank you so much for taking this time on the couch with me. Mwah, mwah. I hear it's quiet, so I've got to make a big change. So this is Peter Scolari. Live from Wicked. Thanks for having me. There you go. We're still signing all of these uh, posters for um, Broadway Cares, and it's going very well. You know, the whole company signs these, and we're still raising money for HIV, AIDS, breast and ovarian cancer awareness. But there's been one thing that people have been asking me about, my jewels, and so I'm showing them to you. Yes, I love my jewelry. And these right here, these are my green glass earrings. Throw back to what musical? Uh-huh, all you Twitter people out there, Green Glass Love is a throwback to what musical that I happen to originate the character in. Okay, yes. Anyway, I'm wearing a whole bunch of green glass. Lessons learned in our days and